Let's design together a simple and single logo on Adobe Illustrator for iPad. So in this video, you will have the opportunity to learn even more about the Illustrator app. We are going to look at what is new since Adobe Max and we are going to use a different tool than uh, my last video where we use Adobe Illustrator on the iPad. So I am about to show you so much more while designing this logo. All right, let's get right into our brief to know what kind of logo we are going to design today. It's kind of hot. I'm cold, I'm hot, I don't know. So I am going to design a primary logo for the company called Sunny Siphon. Sunny Siphon is a company that is selling modern clothing for children. They would love to have a pictorial logo, meaning a logo with a Nikon, like the Twitter logo or like the Apple logo. And they also want to use the color purple. Okay, so this is a random client brief from the website good brief that I also let's not pressure ourselves too much we're only going to do one logo we're going to do it in the iPad and this is my first time making the entire logo on the iPad so it's gonna be more like a let's figure it out together right so beforehand before filming this video I have sketched already the logo into Procreate the one I wanted to do I stored some images on um, Pinterest and I also find two color palettes um, um, that matching the brief with obviously the color purple and I found maybe five fonts that we need to download on the iPad so I'm going to do all of this and we are going to start designing our logo on the iPad. All right, so we have a beautiful setup um, right now with my iPhone that is uh, filming my iPad. And so I quickly wanted to show you how I gather my ideas together using Notion. So here is my Notion template, right? And as you can see, I put the brief, children closing, pictorial mark, color purple, um, sunny siphon, right? This is what we're going to design on the iPad, but where I'm going to send the intro, the brief, some B-roll IDs. And so here I have the color palette that I found on Adobe Color. So I usually go on Colors, I think it's called Colors that co that co or um adobe colors uh, and both of those um, color palette are from uh, adobe colors so right now i'm more into going to this one than that one but we're going to see how it looks on the logo we're going to create and then as i said i found um five different font on invento element if you don't know invento elements this is a website where you can find uh, fonts mockups uh, stock photos stock videos templates and all and this is a really cool so you have to get a monthly subscription or a yearly subscription but you also have some free assets so i invite you to go check it out i will link it down below and here are some of my ideas so i usually go into pinterest and so here it's kind of the vibe i was going for for this children brand so really roundish um icons um drawing i really like that because we're talking about siphon so with all of that i came and did those three sketches this one that's that was was my first ID but it looked more like a outdoor adventure logo so it didn't really work for children and I really like the wave part because you know siphon is like hurricane like it's like a lot of waves and, and the name of the company is sunny so sunny siphon that I would work but after with another ID with this uh, ID over here with that like swirl, swirl, I don't even know how you, you say that. The, the little spiral, uh, I was like, oh, I can make a sun with it. So yeah, we're going to do and vectorize and make this logo into Adobe Illustrator. Let's now open the app. All right, so I'm opening Adobe Illustrator. So this is, you know, the page you end up when you open the app. We are going to use uh, custom size and we are going to work on pixels and RGB, that's fine. It's only going to be online. We're only going to use one artboard and those dimensions are pretty good. So let's just, let's just do this file. All right, here is our artboard. I already went through these um, tools on the side on my last video, so you can check that out. We are um, really going to go into new 
tools and really the process of making a logo on the iPad. As I said, it's kind of my first time ever, so I'm kind of gonna figure it out, but I think it's gonna be good. There's also new things that I want to look at on the app. Since Adobe Max, you know, the keynote, there's like a lot of new things on Adobe Illustrator for iPad, so I thought we could check it out. All right, so the first thing we are going to do is import our sketch. So remember to go to import something, you can go on that little uh, image and this is your way to place things. So you can use your camera, photos, file, creative cloud, or your library. We're going to go into photos. So here we have our um, logo. Okay, I couldn't figure out how to crop things. So I went back into Procreate, erase things around my icon and I cropped directly into my camera roll and only got this one. So the new things I wanted to try. So here we have our image, you know, artboard. We want to draw this. This is only the sketch. This is not our logo. This is not vectorized, right? This is a pixel image. So you can tell because you can see this little square there and we want it to be vector. So the new things in Adobe Illustrator on iPad is the fact that you can vector a pixel image. So you remember those little tools that's on the bottom here? A new one just added and this is the vector one. So we're going to click on it and it's supposed to bring a pixel image to a vector image. Oh, let's try it. I'm gonna click on it. Oh, wow, it did already work. So let's see. It says vector as source sketch, line out logo painting. So we, we vector the sketch in black and white. Feel if I do stroke. Ooh, no, feels. So let's play with those a little. I really like the effect. If I, okay, path. Okay, that's a little better. And what do we have? Corners. You guys, we just, that's, that's new to me too. So we just have to go back and forth and see what we are happy with. Okay, so if I go there, see all, all those little stuff that's everywhere if I, bring my nose up that disappear. Expand vectorization. All right, we have our sketching into a vectorized image on the iPad. What? How do I know this is vectored? First, they told me. Second, I'm gonna zoom and you can see I can scale forever and it's gonna be um, no pixel at all. This is no uh, more pixel. That's great, that's awesome. So now if I want to make little of a modification, I really like it as it is because this is a children brand and you know, like it doesn't have to be perfect. This is like a children drawing and this is the vibe that we're going for. But if we wanted to make it, there you go. So if you go into the direct selection tool over here, you will be able to make some changes. And so from here, we can make some changes. So if you're familiar with Adobe Illustrator on the desktop, this is pretty much the same. You have your anchor point here and you can use those handles to make slightly changes on the direction of your curve. So this is what we're going to do right now. We're just going to refine a little bit to make, to make it look Oh, good. All right, let's do this very quick until we like it. Okay, so you may wonder what I am doing here and I kind of wanted to show you quick to explain to you what's going on. Now I am taking care of the sun strokes. And so I wanted to show you, if you click on each individual anchor point, so let's say I do not want this anchor point here, instead of making changes to it, I'm just going to get rid of it. So I'm clicking on it and if I use this X with a line, that means removing the anchor point. So when I do this, it makes another shade because 
is no anchor point in the middle. So look at this one, it's look a little bit weird because this anchor point, I don't need it, so I remove it and well, I can maybe remove this one, see how it looks. Okay, like it better. So I'm just going to keep going like this, removing some anchor points because it needs to be a little bit more simplified. We don't need all of that. We don't need all those anchor points. We just need to have a nice rounded stroke. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take care of all of those and I'm going to go back and we're going to start with the Faces. Okay, I am pretty happy with my stroke. So uh, before we go with the typefaces, I need to move some of the strokes because those are really close, those are not. So we need to take every single one of them and we need to move them. So I'm going to move them a little closer here because those are are not close enough compared to the other ones. So when I select my sun and I double click, I select what's inside because I expand in this shape so every single one of those elements are one. Okay, I really, 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 really like it. So this is our icon. This is the icon of our brand. So before we are touching any colors, we are going to look at what typeface we want for this. So since I really like that, I'm just going to move it on this side so we can take care of our typefaces. So I'm going to go into the text tool, just a text like this. All right, so I'm going to use this and need my, my keyboard. And so now we're going to choose our typeface. So I'm going to duplicate five times because we have five different typefaces that I wanna see close to one another. So this one's called Cool Kids. Cool Kids. So there's this one. There's another one that's called Alex something. So, so let me zoom and let's see what font we are more attracted to for this brand. Uh, we have our son. Really like this. I think he could work really well with our son. Uh, this one is not working. I don't think that one is way too, too thin. So it's not gonna work. And I, I don't know, I have something for that one too. I think it works really well with the Thunny uh, vibes. Yeah, let's do three. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna go with this one. We're not gonna think too much about it. Um, so here we are. So we chose the font called Dolphino. Oh, it's not Dolphino, it's Dolpino. So I don't even know how to read. At the bottom like this. So that could be our primary logo um, like that. Or, we can do it. You guys, if you want to rescale something, just hold this button here, okay? So it, it scale um, correctly. Ooh, that's cute. That will be our primary logo, right? I kind of want to try something to see if it works because I wanted to see if we can do sunny here and uh, Typhoon there. So we're going to try that. I want to make like a path. So I'm going to make a cycle above my icon and I'm just going to do oh, only the strokes just to see. So maybe like that. So now we want to write sunny and typhoon. We need to do, you know, text on path. I think it's possible on the iPad, so we're going to figure it out. So I'm going to go on text, hold it. So it's vertical or normal text. So do I have text on path? If I do this and this, let me say this again. No, get out. Get over here. Take that guy. I'm gonna select that guy. Tag, type on path. Boom. Fun! Ooh, oh, I like that. Honestly, it looks really cool as it is like this. Sunny Typhon, I think that's awesome, but I really wanna try to put the Sunny there and the Typhon there. I don't know, for some reason it, it would look good to me, but so we made two different logos, right? So now I'm going to try to do the one I wanted to do with the Thunny Siphon. I'm going to show you if it works because you guys, you guys want to see that, right? Okay, so we are going to select those again, duplicate again, move it to the side. As of right now, uh, using the app is working really well. I'm very surprised. So what if duplicate this? Okay, so we're going to put it over here. And on our text here, yeah, we're going to we're going to delete this guy. So we just want Sunny. So now we're going to put Sunny. Oops, it's this one I want. We're going to put Sunny here. All right, and we're going to and on that one the Sunny is going to go away because we only want the siphon, right? And so the siphon needs to go here, but like 
here. If that makes sense. All right, and my sunny needs to come in closer. All right, this is this is what I wanted to do at first. It sounds a little too wide. There can be another var variation. Var variation. I. I have no idea how to say that word. Um, of our logo, so we can have three different kind of way to put it. So not a bad, not a bad. Okay, like them all. Let's move on. Um, this is ain't gonna be perfect. Uh, really like it this way. This is we we are keeping those. I was supposed to do one primary logo, guys. We went way too far, way too far. But just to show you how <laughs> possible it is to do things on there. All right, we have our icon. We have our typeface, our font. Now we're going to get some colors so z colors i'm i'm supposed to have everything into my adobe library so i'm going to colors and going to libraries put them here so we are going to use these all right we're gonna make that one two three four tag did i just did i only made four Oh no, I have five. Okay, perfect. So now each one's gonna have a color to see which one we are going to use, what palette we're going to use. All right, I'm going to do the other one really quick. Honestly, this is really, really hard to choose when I see them uh, right now. So our circle here, this guy, choose the circle that is black. We can be one color, so maybe the blue one, because that's a siphon, right? We could do that. And so each one of those can be a different color, like a rainbow, and the sunny would be into either the yellow or the orange, and the siphon would be purple. So I don't know, we'll see. Let's, let's try to make out something. Okay, you all, we did it. We did it. Look at this beauty, sunny siphon. It looks so, so cute. So, so cute. So we made our, our pictorial uh, logo. We have a really nice and funny and fresh color palette. We have a really childish and yet playful typeface. And obviously our icon is like handmade. We drew, we drew this and we also added the color purple as the company uh, wanted. Yeah, here we go, sunny siphon. So we can even take only the sun, make it a bead icon. This is uh, pretty cool. So we were supposed to do one primary icon, you guys. We made three different variations of a logo. We also had a, a color palette and we have a typeface. So we were starting making a brand identity over here. So that's pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, can't you see all the things you can actually make into the uh, Adobe Illustrator for iPad, like seriously, they, that was the, the vectorize uh, part with, you know, vectorizing my drawing and we just have to make some changes with the direct selection tool is pretty freaking accurate. Um, Wow, I'm um, very impressed. Uh, I'm super happy with our design. So uh, yeah, if you loved it too, and if you learned something today, and if you obviously like the kind of video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I will highly appreciate it. Uh, subscribe also to my channel so you never miss any of those kind of uploads. Uh, thank you again for watching, and I hope to see you soon. Take care.